Good morning, students. Welcome back to the learning of everyday English grammar. As you know, in my last video, we had learned about what are verbs. In this video, we will be learning about the exercises in your textbook, Chapter 9, Verbs. So I would like you to take out your Everyday English Grammar and Composition textbook and then turn on to the contents page. So we are going to take up chapter number 9, Verbs. That is page number 41. Okay, so till now we have done all these chapters in your grammar textbook. So let's start with solving the exercises of verbs. Okay, so this is chapter 9 verbs and we all are on page number 41. So as you can see on the picture, I have underlined certain sentences. And I have also written on top, read and learn, which means you need to read and learn whatever is there in your book. Okay, that says about the first sentence that I have underlined, which is the definition of the word verb. So, a verb tells us what the subject in a sentence is, what it does, or what it possesses. Verbs express action, being, and possession. So, in my previous video, you already learned that a verb is actually an action word. And it tells us what a subject, that is a noun, is doing, does or has with it in form of an action, being or possession. We have three examples in the book. Azar is a boy. It is the verb of being. It tells us who Azar is. I eat an apple every day. Eat is a verb of action that we are doing some physical action that is eating. Shalini has a red dress. Has is the verb which tells us what Shalini has. What does she possess? So we need to keep in mind that verbs are the most important part of a sentence. In fact, we cannot form a sentence without a verb. So all the sentences will have verb in them. I want you to take your pencil and scale and underline the sentences just the way I have done. Okay, so a verb in a sentence may be formed in different ways. A sentence can have one verb, two verbs or three verbs depending upon the tense, the timing that you as a writer want to show. So, does our exercise A similar to the rule above. Underline the verbs in the following sentences. Write one, two or three for the number of words the verbs are made up of. So in this exercise A, you first have to underline the verbs in the sentence and then in the box near, you are supposed to write how many verbs does that sentence have? 
Let's start with the first one. Rafat and Maria are going to the library. There are two words, are and going. So I have written two in the box and I have underlined are and going. Sentence number two. Farzan and Mary are good friends. Are is the only verb in the sentence. So I have underlined are and written one in the box near. Sentence number three. Samarth will be going to the market soon. There are three verbs in this sentence. Will, be and going. So I have written three in the box nearby. Number four. Parth was studying quietly in his room. I have two verbs, was and studying. So I have written two in the near box. Sentence number five. The engineer will be repairing the computer in the lab. We have three verbs in sentence number five. Will, be and repairing. So I have written three in the box. So this was your exercise A. The students who had not solved the exercise yet are supposed to solve it right now while the video is on. And the ones who have done need to check their work, whether your work is correct or the way I have told to do. Let's move on with the types of verbs. Now, if you read the definition above, they are talking about action, being and possession. So even verbs have different categories. In my earlier video about verbs, we saw that category to be, to have and to do. So these are the categories of verbs. Now let us take the first category of verb. Verbs that express actions. Verbs like go, sit, stand, talk, walk, etc. They express actions. They are the main action verbs, whether it is mental action or physical action. A physical action like walking, eating, talking. A mental action like thinking, remembering. Let's turn the page to 42. On page number 42, they have given us exercise B, which is match the actions to the animals that can do them. Match the actions to the animals that can do them. It means that in column A, they have given us seven names of animals and in column B, they have given us the actions that these animals usually do. So we need to match column A with column B. Remember, now that you are in form 4, we are learning how to write numbers. So you are not supposed to draw lines. You are supposed to write numbers the way I have written on the slide. So that is the way you are going to learn how to match the animals with their actions. Let us start. The first one is tiger. The action that the tiger does is roars. A tiger roars. Number two, rabbit. A rabbit hops. Rabbit hops. So that's number two. Number three, bird. Bird, they chirp. So bird chirps, that is number three. Mosquito, mosquito stings. So that is number four, mosquito stings. Earthworms, earthworm crawls. Earthworm crawls, that is number five. Duck, duck quacks. 
A duck quacks. So quacks is number six. Horse, number seven. Horse gallops. Horse gallops. That is number seven. So this was your exercise B. Now let's move on to the next type of verb that is being verb. Okay. After the major action verbs, we move on to the lighter types of being verbs. The verbs am, is, are, was, were, being and been are different forms of the verb be. They tell us what a person or a thing is. Generally, these verbs are used with other action words in a sentence, but they can act as the main verbs too. If you recall my past video on verbs, I have made you understand this in detail. So let it, let's cut it short, okay? Verbs are usually of two types. You have helping verbs and then you have main verbs, okay? Helping verbs are the lighter verbs. They usually tell us about what a person or a thing is or the time, okay? And the main action verbs, they tell us the physical or mental action of that particular noun. Now, in sentences, you can have one verb, two verb or three verbs is what we know. And generally, these verbs are used with the main action verbs. And the next exercise is about the same. In exercise C, choose the correct verbs for the sentences given below. Write whether they are main verbs or helping verbs. So in these sentences, they have given you verbs. You need to choose first the correct verb and then write in the blank which is provided whether the verb that you have underlined is a helping verb or a main verb. So let's start with the first one. Mr. and Mrs. Ahuja dash here yesterday. Now I have learned about subject and verb agreement. So my subjects are two. I have two subjects, which is plural. Now because I have plural, my verb also has to agree with my subject. That makes me choose the word were. Mr. and Mrs. Ahuja were here yesterday and then there is no other verb in the sentence except were. So were becomes the main verb. So I have written in my blank main verb. Number two, the parrot dash imitating its master. Now how many verbs do I have in this sentence? I have two verbs in the sentence. Parrot is singular so I choose is and imitating is an action that the parrot does okay so is is a helping verb and it comes before the main verb okay number three my parents dash going for a movie same as the second one my parents is plural so i have chosen are and going is an action that the parents are going to do. So going is the next verb. So are is my helping verb. Number four, all the people dash tired after the party. All the people, the word all and people tell me that my subject is plural and not singular. So I use the verb were and tired is my next verb. It is a physical action that I'm tired. Okay, it's a feeling. So, were in this sentence is a helping verb. Number five, I dash the class monitor. I am the class monitor and there is only one verb and that is am. So, am becomes the main 
verb in the sentence. Let's turn on to page number 43. Now, page number 43 tells us about the last type of verb, which is belonging verb. Now, verbs like has, have and had are also known to be to have verbs and they show belonging or possession and are used with the main verbs, that is the action verbs. Or they can also be used as a main verb. So, we need to keep in mind that the verb have also means to eat or to experience. The verbs has, have and had are used as helping verbs with main verbs in a sentence. Such as, I have finished my work. So here, the word have is actually helping the main verb. It is adding more meaning to the verb finished. And I hope you are not forgetting to draw lines the way I have marked the important sentences which you need to read before your exams. So make sure you are underlining the sentences that I have and you need to learn them also. Let's move on to exercise D. Tick the correct verbs in the following sentences. Make sure my subject has to agree with my verb. So sentence number one, our school library dash the latest books. Our school library has the latest books. Library is singular, so I have used has. I, you can tick or you can underline. I have chosen to tick the verb. Okay, sentence number two, the parrot dash a curved beak. The parrot is singular, so I have again chosen has. The parrot has a curved beak. Number three, my cousins, a collection of beautiful seashells. My cousins, cousins is plural, so I have chosen have. My cousins have a collection of beautiful seashells. Number four, Gunjan dash a green frock when she was young. Gunjan is a singular subject, so my verb has to be singular. So I have chosen has. Gunjan has a green frock when she was young. Okay, now this sentence has more to it. The ones who are smart will be able to catch me. And the ones who are not able to still catch me, let's look at the sentence again. I am saying that I use the verb has. Now, is it correct or not? Kunjun has a green frock when she was young. If you notice the sentence, you have one more verb and that is was. Was is the next verb in the same sentence. And was is the past tense. Past tense means that the sentence talking about Gunjan is about the past. So, I need to have my verbs agree in the sentence. So, my answer is Gunjan had a green frock when she was young. So I am talking about the past time when she was young. She had a green frock. Okay, so that was a twister in middle. Number five, Ranjan and Ritu dash the best scores. This is an easy one. Ranjan and Ritu, plural. I use have so, Ranjan and Ritu have the best scores. Now comes the other important portion of the chapter verbs, which is subject and verb agreement. Every sentence has a subject and a verb. The subject and the verb in a sentence 
must agree in number. For example, the market stays open all night. The market is a singular subject. Stays is a singular verb. If the subject in a sentence is singular, the verb should also be singular. If the subject in a sentence is plural, the verb should also be plural. Now, I hope you have understood subject and verb agreement properly. If you haven't and you have any doubts, please see my previous video again. Why I'm saying so is because usually students tend to get confused between singular and plural nouns and singular and plural verbs. Singular and plural nouns have S and verbs have S in different ways. When I have a singular noun, I do not use S. When I have plural noun, I use S. But when I have singular verb, I use S. And when I don't have a singular verb, that is, I have a plural verb, I do not use S. For example, worms wriggle in water. Rani and Raman are coming out of the room. And then you have an exception. With I and you, we always use a plural verb. You are a good boy. All of you were late yesterday. I walk to school. Which brings us to exercise E. Fill in the blanks with the correct forms of the verbs given in brackets. First one, Rani enjoys dancing. Rani is singular. My verb has to be singular. Verb with S is singular. Her friends enjoy watching her. Noun friends has an S, but my verb enjoy doesn't have an S. Number two, I love my grandmother. She loves me too. Now because I is an exception, as the above rule says, that I will always have a plural verb. So I love my grandmother. She loves me too. Number three, the sun shines during the day while the stars shine at night. Sun, singular, stars, plural. Fourth one, a spider spins a web. Many other spiders also spin their webs. A spider, singular, many spiders, plural. Number five, a squirrel is hiding a nut. The other squirrels are hiding behind a tree to see where it is hiding the nut. A squirrel is singular, so I am using is hiding and other squirrels, plural, so I am using are hiding. Send exercise number F. Now in these sentences, they tell us to rewrite using the plural subjects and make the necessary changes. Let's start with the first one. I have to change my subjects from singular to plural and then form a complete sentence. My cat likes having milk with a biscuit. My cats like having milk with biscuits. Number two, the dog was barking at the stranger. The dogs were barking at the strangers. Number three, the boy is playing football with his friend. The boys are playing football with their friends. Number four, the horse lives in a stable. The horses live in stables. Number five, 
This knife is too sharp. These knives are too sharp. If you observe, I have underlined my subjects. So if you want to be more clear in how you are solving it, you can also underline your subjects so that you can easily convert them into their plural forms and also make them agree with each other. Number six, that mango is ripe. Those mangoes are ripe. Number seven, the student is going to the classroom. The students are going to the classrooms. Exercise G is the opposite. In the following sentences, the subject and the verb do not agree. Rewrite them correctly. Number one, my brothers was happy to go abroad. So there's the mistake. My brothers were happy to go abroad. Number two, this bag are full of lovely flowers. Not right. This bag is full of lovely flowers. Number three, Karthik have not gone out yet. Incorrect. Karthik has not gone out yet. Number four, Irfan were happy when the jobs was complete. Completely wrong. Irfan was happy when the job was complete. Number five, the students is decorating their classroom. No, no. The students are decorating their classrooms. Number six, Rita were studying for six hours every day last week. Not right. Rita was studying six hours every day last week. Number seven, Pratik and I was not allowed to attend the function. Mm -mm. Pratik and I were not allowed to attend the function. Number eight, the dead trees has been cut down. The sentence is off. The dead trees have been cut down. Number nine, Skaters is glad that winter have arrived. Wrong. Skaters are glad that winter has arrived. Number 10. One of the apples were rotting. The sentence is rotting. One of the apples was rotting. So, these are the exercises from your textbook that we have just solved. I hope you now understood the chapter of verbs more properly after practically solving the exercises. Keep on learning. You're home. You're safe. And finish your prep. Thank you for watching the learning video. You can subscribe to the channel on the YouTube and follow the playlist to watch all the videos that I post up. See you.